Hey, second grade, it's Miss Crawl here again, and I'm so happy to see all of you. I hope you're ready to learn and having an awesome day. So today we have two different things that we're going to be talking about. Our first thing we're going to be talking about is plural nouns, which you may have watched some other videos on these and kind of have some prior knowledge on that. And we're also going to be talking about abbreviations, which again, you may have watched a previous video on this and kind of have some background knowledge on abbreviations. So we're gonna start with abbreviations first. And I want you to remember that abbreviations are when we take a word and we shorten it, we make it shorter. An abbreviation starts with a capital letter and it ends with a period. So things that are abbreviated a lot are like Mr., right? If you have a teacher, Mr., you would put M-R, period. But there's a longer word with Mr., M-I-S-T-E-R, we just abbreviate it. So you've seen abbreviations, probably since you started kindergarten, you just may not have talked about them before. So I'm gonna go ahead and make myself smaller in the corner and we're gonna do some practice with this. So let me just read the top real quick. An abbreviation is a short way to write a longer word. So again, Mr, we abbreviate to MR, right? Mr, Mr, both mean Mr, just a shorter way. Titles are often abbreviated. Places may also be abbreviated. So a lot of times our proper nouns are abbreviated. So we could see that titles, places are the most common ones that we abbreviate. So let's look at part A. It says write the abbreviation for each word. So we have street here. So I want you to think, what does street abbreviate to? If we wanna make street shorter, how would we make it shorter? I want you to go ahead, yell it out if you know. We would do S, T, period. But I want you to notice that my S is capital and then there's a period after T, right? Capital and then period. There it is. All right, let's look at number two, Mr. How do we abbreviate Mr.? Does anyone have any guesses? We would abbreviate M R period. And look, we have a capital M, capital M, and then a period. What about Avenue? Avenue is a little bit more difficult. So I want you to think if you've seen this before, how would we abbreviate Avenue? Go ahead and shout it out if you know. A, capital, V, E, period, Av. What about doctor? Think about doctor. How do we shorten doctor? Go ahead and shout it out. Yeah, D, capital, R, period, Oop, period. D, e, R, period, doctor, good. What about road? How do we abbreviate road? Go ahead and shout it out if you know. We would abbreviate R, D. Notice our R is capital and R. We have a period. Ooh, so now we get to go ahead, write each title or place on the line using abbreviation. See, we can have these proper nouns in here and we're gonna go ahead and doctor needs abbreviated avenue beside these proper nouns that we have. So let's go ahead, number one, Dr. Smith. So how would I write this? What would doctor abbreviate to? Go ahead and yell it out. Yeah, capital D, R, period, and then Smith. Good, Dr. Smith. How would we abbreviate Seaside Avenue? I want you to go ahead, shout out what Avenue would look like. We're gonna leave Seaside alone. It doesn't need an abbreviation, but Avenue does. Go ahead, yell it out. Seaside, capital A, B, E, period, good. What about spring road? How are we going to abbreviate road? Spring will stay the same. So I-N-G, capital S, yell it out. How are we abbreviating road? Capital R, D, period. Great job. Ooh, how would we abbreviate apartment 7A? I live in apartment two. So I do this all the time on stuff. How do you think we're gonna abbreviate apartment? Any guesses? Let me hear them. Yell them out. A-P-T, period. 
and then we'd keep seven A. So when I write my address, I put A, P, T, period, and then two, apartment two. We have Mount Olympus. How are we going to abbreviate Mount? I want you to go ahead and give it a try. What do we think? Mount, capital M, T, period, and then Olympus, and look, proper noun, so we have that capital O. Awesome job, second grade. So remember, our abbreviations are when we take a longer word and we shorten it. Days of the week, months, different titles, those all are often abbreviated. And then, there, remember, abbreviation has a capital letter and a period. And then different things like doctor, we have a proper name beside it, so that proper name will be capitalized. All right, second grade, now we're going to switch gears a little bit. We're going from abbreviations to plural nouns. So a noun, person, place, or thing, and then plurals talking about more than one. So singular is just one, cat, plural, more than one, cats. But today we're talking about very special words when we make them plural. So these nouns are, we don't just add S, we don't add ES. So you know, there's all kinds of rules you guys have been learning. These ones kind of don't really follow any rules. They kind of do their own thing. They completely have a new word and change up their spellings. It's not just add an S. It's not just add an ES. They want to make it a little more difficult. They're irregular, which means they're not normal. They're irregular. So the word completely changes when we're talking about more than one. We're talking about it in the plural form. So let me go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So we have mouse. There was a mouse in my house. If there was war, more than one mouse, we're not going to say there were mouses. We're going to say there were mice. So you can see how the spelling totally changes, takes on a different form. So it's irregular. What about child? There is my child. Or if you're, you have more than one, you say there are my children. Again, different spelling, so it's irregular. Person. There is one person in the locker room. If there's more than one person, we're not going to say there are persons in the locker room. We say there are people. So you can see these spellings just do whatever they want to do, right? It's unique for each word. So these irregular nouns, plural nouns, we just got to practice them and learn them. So I have a little activity we're going to do to get more practice. So it says match the, match the correct singular or plural nouns to the sentence it completes. So we're gonna read this sentence and then we gotta connect it to the right answer. So let's read the first one. The lamb has four. Okay, so we're talking about more than one if we're talking about four. So that means we're looking for plural. The lamb has four foot. The lamb has four feet. Ooh, so we're stuck between foot or feet. I want you to go ahead and yell out. Which one do you think is the plural if are talking about more than one? Yeah, feet. Good. The lamb used one blank to kick the rock. Well, if we're only talking about one, that's singular. The lamb used one foot to kick the rock. A blank is carrying the lamb. A. So when we have A, we're talking about one, right? So is man or men? One. Which one's our singular noun? Let me hear it. Yell it out. Yeah, man. A man is carrying the lamb. Good. So that leaves the men are working in the bar barn. More than one. The men are working in the barn. Good job, guys. Let's try this again. The blank were meeting at the school. The teeth were meeting at the school. No, it doesn't make sense. The woman was were meeting at the school, the tooth were meeting at the school, or the women were meeting at the school. When we're talking about woman, woman, which one is plural? I want you to shout it out. Yeah, the women were meeting at the school. Good. The puppy lost a tiny blank when it chewed the shoe. So we're obviously talking about teeth here. So we need to decide if it's teeth or tooth. The puppy lost a tiny teeth when it chewed the shoe, or the puppy lost a tiny tooth when it chewed the shoe. We're talking about a tiny, so just one. So if we're talking about one, 
Are we talking about tooth or teeth? What's our singular? Yell it, yell it out. Yeah, tooth. The puppy lost a tiny tooth when it chewed the shoe. Nice job. A tall blank gave us directions. A tall blank gave us directions. Well, a tall, we see there's just one, a. So, a tall, yell it out. What's our answer? Woman, good. One woman. I could see all the cats blank when it yawns. So we only have teeth here. I could see all the cats, all of them. That's more than one, right? So the plural of tooth is teeth. I lost all my teeth, right? If you're talking about more than one, it changes to teeth. I could see all the cat's teeth when it yawned. All right, second grade, we're gonna try one more of these and then you're all done. We saw two little gray blank in the barn. We saw two little, well that two right there tells us, hey, there's more than one, so it's plural. So we're talking about mice or mouse here. If we're talking about more than one, what is it? Yell it out. Yeah, mice, good. We saw two little gray mice in the barn. A little blank peeked out of the hole. So A, we're only talking about one. So A, little, yell out our answer. Yeah, mouse, good. We're only talking about one little mouse. The blank likes to play with a dog or that, sorry, excuse me, that blank likes to play with a dog. That blank likes to play with a dog, so that. Are we talking about one child or are we talking about children, plural, many? Yell out our answer, what do you think? Yeah, that child, we're only talking about one. So our last sentence says, many children were playing here after school. Children, more than one, so children. All right, second grade, that was amazing work. I know that was a lot of information, but you guys rocked it. So remember, abbreviations, we take a longer word and we shorten it. Capital letter and a period on the abbreviation. And then plural nouns, we have plural nouns that are irregular, which means we don't just add an S or an ES. The word completely changes. It's like child to children, mouse to mice. We just gotta keep practicing those and get those in our brain. All right, second grade, awesome job, and I will see you guys next time.